For the record. For the record. For the record. For the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Bro. A6 all the hay. I won't get a ball today. Got lost in the ball in days. I'm flipping the balls. I'm flipping the 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 if you guys want to know how I easily locked onto a subject and kept them in the center of the frame, then keep watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so that whenever I post a new video, you will be notified. So this effect is very simple to recreate, but you do need a plugin to make it work in Final Cut Pro 10. Pixel Film Studios created an amazing, easy to use plugin called FCPX Stabilizer 2.0, which is a professional shot stabilizer tool for Final Cut Pro. The tool is great for simply just getting rid of unwanted camera shakiness or movement and keeping your footage stable. I love this plugin for creating that locked on stabilization effect, where you can keep your subject in the middle of the frame at all times throughout the clip. The first 500 people to purchase this plugin with my promo code PRIMETIMEPIXEL will get 30% off. Let me show you guys how you can easily do this, but before we start, I just want to shout out my buddy Derek for helping me with this tutorial. Make sure to check out his channel as he just recently started creating content on YouTube based on fitness and self-improvement, so make sure to check it out and show him some love when you get the chance. Now in this example, we will work with two clips. Both were shot in 1080p, 120 frames per second. But shooting in 4K might be a bit better as you'll be able to zoom in more without any quality loss. But I'll leave that up to you. The first one will have a shot of Derek facing the camera and dribbling the ball towards us. When filming the scene, all you really need to do is make sure that your subject is in the middle of the frame. I had grid lines turned on in my camera when I shot this to help with keeping him centered. Try your best to do so, although I know it does get a bit tough sometimes. I shot this one handheld as well, so you don't need any gimbal to do it. Once you have that shot, drag the clip into Final Cut Pro 10. Once you have it on the timeline, look for the Stabilizer 2.0 FX plugin and drop it on top of your clip. You should see a window appear in the inspector box on the right side of the screen. With your footage highlighted and the playhead at the beginning of the clip, click on Track Editor. Another window will pop up on your screen. This is where you will be doing all the tracking. So in this clip, I will track his eyes. Zoom into your clip by adjusting the slider right here. Click on the hand icon to readjust your clip so you can properly set your tracking points. Now readjust the box so that it only has the part that you want to track within the red box. Once you are done that, change the track quality to 100%. You can also change the tracking type. I will leave it in position only in this example. Everything else you can leave as is, as we'll let the auto tracker do all the work for us. Click on this button when you are ready to start the tracking process. If you zoom out, you will see that it is doing all the work for you as it follows the movement frame by frame. Once it is done, click on export data. This should automatically replace the clip you have on your timeline with the stabilized one you just created. If your clip looks slightly off, you have other options to play around with in the inspector bar. In this clip, you will see that the scale ratio might have been adjusted during the tracking. You can just uncheck Apply Skill Data and it should bring it back to its original size. Click on On Off in the Guide Control section. This will show you the parts that needs to be hidden so that stabilization comes out smoothly. You can do this by increasing the size of your clip. Drag the little circle up and down to do just that. The middle circle allows you to adjust the entire clip to properly align it. Now play it back to see if there are any more dark bars showing up in the edges. If you still see it showing up, adjust the size again to cover it. Once you color correct and grade your footage, it should look polished just like this. With the second clip, I had Derek do sit-ups. I followed his movement as much as possible and tried to keep him in the middle. Now once you apply the stabilizer to your effect, click on track editor. In this clip, I will track his headphones, which should be easier for the plugin to track. Top left corner should tell you how many frames are left to be tracked before it is done. Once that is complete, click on export data. The scale ratio seems to be fine after conversion in this clip, so I will just leave everything as is. But just remember, every clip is different so you might have to adjust yours manually, like what I did in the first clip if needed. 
There are a ton of stuff you can do with this plugin and I want to know if you guys have tried it and created something that you want to share with me and the community. So make sure to leave the link in the comment section below. And a special thanks again to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring this video. As a lot of you already know, Pixel Film Studios creates a lot of awesome plugins just for Final Cut Pro 10. Recently, I used the Brush Glow and Data Mosh effect. If you guys haven't seen it yet, make sure to check it out in the channel. Both amazing plugins. You can do so many cool and awesome things with it. So make sure to check out the website. I will leave a link in the description below. It's my time in my prime. This the prime time. Pretty content. Are you content? No nonsense. Just a go-getter on a car quest. Hey.